All right, y'all, y'all already know all things sports and entertainment, and we can completely disagree, but let's get this conversation started. So yesterday, we had a, a Bears had a home game, Caleb Williams, who, um, you know, first of all, the game started at 930 East Coast time, which I liked it because I was able to watch the game and then get the rest of my day going. But Caleb Williams went up against Trevor Lawrence, who down here in uh, Metro Atlanta, from Metro Atlanta, and I uh, oh, appreciate it. That's what I like about Atlanta, man. People will let you get over but um, but nonetheless, uh, Trevor Lawrence ended up going to um, he played. He was number one pick for Jacksonville. Caleb Williams was number one pick for Chicago this year. But you know, Trevor Lawrence was a couple years ago. But a lot of people been hating on Caleb Williams. He definitely struggled the first couple of games. He looked like a fish out of water. You, again, this is rookie year. But um, he threw for three hundred some yards last game, and this past uh, Sunday against Jacksonville, he ended up throwing for, uh, I think, 226 yards, four touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. Uh, Komet, our tight end, ended up getting uh, two touchdowns, and he was a long snapper. And, um, you know, defense looked pretty good. DJ Moore had his number. You know, he was doing his thing, defense, of course. And we shut the Jacksonville Jaguars out. Now, look, do I think we're going to be a Super Bowl winning team this year? No. Are we, a pay are we a playoff team? Absolutely. But if Caleb Williams keeps playing like this, we 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 one we two to three years away at the most. You can tell, by the way, Caleb Williams, you can tell when he was dropping back how much comfortable he was at reading the um uh read uh reading the def defensive coverage. Also, was he still out there playing like USC? Yeah, but it's totally it was a little bit different. He did hold the ball a tiny bit too long sometimes. But, like I said, he's starting to realize this is the NFL, man. You drop back, ain't nobody open, man. You got to tuck it and run it or throw it away. So, you can tell he's starting to get better at that. I personally feel like he should have sat out the first maybe 10 games. You know, but at, at, at this moment at the Bears, we a win man, we a win now mentality. You know, that's how we felt with Justin Fields. That's why we ended up letting them go. I do think that we did the best overall decision because Caleb Williams, he can play. The kid can he can play. He can he can sling that ball. Now, again, <laughs> if y'all want to talk about his nails and all of that, I, hey, I, I can't really defend that. But but when it comes to uh his his play out there, man, he is showing at this moment why he is the number one overall pick. And Trevor Lawrence, man, he been what's going on with Trevor Lawrence? He was supposed to be the next generational quarterback when he came out at a Clemson. Y'all remember that? Didn't they? I can't did they win a national title? I'm almost positive they did under him, but maybe I'm wrong. Y'all let me know in the chat. But he was supposed to be the next. He was supposed to be literally the next generational quarterback since Andrew Luck. And um, you know, I think they what one in five now. I think they one in five. So you know, but Caleb Williams, we got a bye week coming up, and then we going up against the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, and the Washington Commanders, but. You know, I'm excited as a Bears fan. We finally got a quarterback. Even though we had Justin Fields, unfortunately, man, Justin Fields, he sacrificed himself for the team because he was taking way too many shots. And it was so bad. It was so bad that I ended up having to turn the game off sometimes because you just you don't want to see the young man get hurt. But, you know, apparently he out there in Pittsburgh doing, you know, doing what he got to do. But, you know, for us Bears fans, man, the sky – it's, it's looking pretty – finally, finally, we got a quarterback. You know, that's what it's looking like. You know, and like I said, Caleb Williams, he's going to have a lot of haters. You know, it is what it is. But that comes with the territory. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.